Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing the Jaclyn Hills um, Fall Favorites Tag. Um, I am super excited about this. I love Jaclyn Hill. I don't know if you guys know, but I really, really love her so, so much. But before I get started, if Jaclyn does watch this, which I really hope she does, but I don't know. Hi Jaclyn, if you're watching. Um, Gizmo wants to say, hey, you want to say hey? <gasps> I know he doesn't like to look at this camera I don't know if Georgie and Frankie do this but like literally he looks and then he sees himself like a mirror and he's just like Ugh. okay I'm totally fangirling because I freaking love you and I really want to meet you but I I don't know I just I haven't yet well, let's get on to the questions. If you guys want to do this tag for yourself, um, all the questions will be linked down below. And when you do this, just like go ahead and tweet it out to Jacqueline and let her know that it's up and live so that she can possibly watch it. Favorite candle. Girl. I have a little one, so you're probably like, what the hell is that? No, no. Listen here. Pumpkin pecan waffles from... Bath and Body Works. This one's just a little one, but I feel like it's so cute. And these are like the perfect size to put in like your bathroom. Um, I feel like they're just amazing. Um, I just burnt this yesterday, so like it's literally halfway gone, but like whatever, they're 4 50 I don't care. Because the girl's on a budget. Like everything you'll see in this video is like nothing. <laughs> okay, so this one's just like so amazingly buttery and like there's a little bit of pecan there but there's a lot of cinnamony waffle no it's just more like a buttery waffle with a hint of pecan and a hint of pumpkin you can barely smell the pumpkin actually don't burn candles because like they're just literally not safe because i'm literally i literally literally can't stop saying literally I forget to blow out the candle wicks and so I live with my mom so um she's like oh my gosh you're gonna burn the house down you're not gonna remember so like every time I light this I well every time I've done it once so when I lit this I like told her when she came upstairs I was like I lit a candle in the bathroom do not forget which is like, okay, because I have a candle warmer in here and I only use like the little tart warmers because you can literally leave them on all day and it doesn't matter. Um, and like your house won't burn down. And then like one day I'll be just sitting in bed and I'm like, where's the scent of my sugar berry? That was like in summer. And I'd be like, oh, I think it burnt all the way out. Like the scent burnt out. Favorite lip color. So I'm currently wearing it today. I could not resist wearing a fall lip because, oh, by the way, today is the first day of fall who loves fall like I do I'm such a white girl I don't care because I'm like freaking pale as snow literally so my favorite lip color is actually three things combined so it looks a little bit like black dahlia I believe is what it's called but like matte I don't know what it's called just just looks really 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 dark so the first thing I did was I took the Revlon color stay lip liner in plum and um, if you guys haven't watched um, Jaclyn Hills what is it called affordable drugstore like makeup look get over there cuz it's beautiful I tried to do the eye today and I was like no let's just change because I don't want to be too crazy and fangirl Okay, um, so she, I believe, used, like, the chocolate one, and it wasn't chocolatey, like, the name was wrong. It was a pretty, it was a really pretty color, but, like, the name was wrong. This one is in Plum, and it's just really, really fabulous. I can't afford those liquid lipsticks, like, the matte liquid lipsticks. I absolutely love them, but I just, like, don't want to shell out right now. This color, Ratia, just, like, a very dark brownie plum honestly I feel like she uses an eyeshadow this color I don't know I'm probably crazy and then I took a little bit of my now lip liner but it was an eyeliner this is from Avon and this is their ultra luxury eyeliner I don't really like to use brown liner on the eyes so this is now my new lip liner like a new lip liner for me and this is in dark brown U40 um, and it's just very creamy if you like lined the outer part of my lips 
with that and then blended it in with my finger. And then Jaclyn. Girl, you use that e.l.f. Uh, blush palette. I don't know if you've ever tried these. I've never heard you mention them. But I could be totally crazy. So these are the e.l.f. matte lip colors. And I currently am wearing the one in wine. Which is so, so beautiful. These are only like three bucks. Go get you some. They're only three bucks. I think they have some more colors too. Um, but they have some like nudie purpley color, mauve colors, I suppose. And that's it right there. That's wine. So I just put it over the top just to help everything blend together. And they are pretty matte, but they're very, very creamy. Next is my favorite drink. Now, I love Starbucks, but let me tell you, all I order from Starbucks are cold drinks. I have a rational, like a legitimate fear of ordering hot, ordering hot drinks out, like out, when I'm out shopping. I just have a rational fear of ordering the hot drinks because they make them so hot, which is great. I ordered a hot drink, like it should be hot, but I don't like burning my mouth. Like when I get a drink, I'm thirsty and I want to like chug it, okay? <laughs> So I don't order hot drinks because every time I get one, I'm like, I'm going to take a sip and then I like will burn my mouth. I haven't had a hot drink probably in about a year and a half, actually. I think the last time I got a hot drink was when me and my boyfriend went out shopping around like Christmas time and I got a white chocolate mocha like hot cocoa thingy. I don't know what it was. And I got it hot and I got it in like a little one, like a tall and I'm like holding it around the whole time because it wouldn't get cold enough. And I actually set it in snow on that was like sitting on a rail. I sat it in the snow and I was like, okay, cold down. Because he like went to the bathroom, I think, and I just sat it on the rail. And I'm like, okay, go. Go, like get cold so I can drink it. And I didn't drink it till I got home and it was like cold. Which is the way I like my drinks. So anyway, that's a story. Um, I actually just make my own. Like me and my mom are literally obsessed with making our own hot, no, with making our own iced coffees. So basically what I do is I just buy like the regular ground, you know, coffee in like the Folgers container or whatever and make it. I don't have time for Keurig. I want a whole pot so I can drink it like through the entire week and then I like make it ahead of time so I already have iced coffee in the fridge and then I just like pour it into a cup with ice and then I get like flavored creamer or just regular like French creamer or whatever it's called so you can get like flavored creamer or non flavored creamer if you get the non flavored creamer then you can get like pumps of syrup Starbucks sells their vanilla and caramel but I think it's just a lot easier to just go ahead and do the like flavored creamer because it's already what I want and then put in two packs of pink sweetener sugar sweetener um so yeah that's it like it's perfect I won't take it but like we can like change this into Christmas, yeah? Like we can use all of your questions and would this be like this is the Christmas time one or like, you know, winter time one? Because I think this is like a really good list that will like work for Christmas. Except like the last question, you know, the Halloween costume. I don't really think that that, clearly that doesn't work, but you know. I think we'd be able to like use every, we would be able to use every single one of these questions except the very last one for a Christmas tag. So maybe if you want to do that. Or Christmas, like a winter tag, because I really like winter time too. I feel like it's a little bit different. Like candles are a little bit different and everything like that. I feel like my look gets a little bit different too. Maybe I'm the only one though, but let me know if I can do that or if you want to do it. I'm not trying to take any credit. I just want to know because I thought these were really good questions because I suck. I suck at making questions. Like you know how when you're texting somebody and they're like, you want to play 20 questions? And then I'm like, yeah. And then I'm, they're like, okay, you can go first. I'm like, no, no, you. And so they go first, and then they say, like, what's your favorite music? And then I'll answer. And then I'll be like, what's your favorite music? <laughs> like, I don't, I don't come up with good questions. I suck. I suck at it. Favorite blush. So this one is from the drugstore. Um, I absolutely love this. I actually bought this in, like, the summertime when I saw it. I was like, yes. First one here. Um, by the way, these are from black radiance yes black radiance um so here it is just like a beautiful literally cranberry raspberry color and it is called raspberry so her toes gorgeous 
and there it is swatched and then you know just kind of blend it out and it just looks so pretty and, and then this next one is called plum sorbet and it looks like this it's also by black radiance as well and I actually picked these up at Target and I just feel like it's such a beautiful mauve shade and then like swirling all of these colors together is like so gorgeous so here it is brought that I don't know how good of a sw um, good of a vision you're getting um but let's go ahead and put it on the hand these are meant for darker skin tones you know but like I'm really 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 white like every foundation is too dark for me white pretty plummy mauvey kind of shade for the cheek I think it's really pretty My favorite clothing item so Jacqueline pointed out that she loves wearing leather jackets and since she lives in Florida it's like going to be cool enough in the night so that she can wear one um I love leather jackets too I don't really have one anymore I used to have one I got it from Kohl's by Rock and Republic and it's like really ratty so I wasn't gonna show it on here um, but instead I'm gonna show you three different things so the first thing is a scarf you have to have a scarf I don't care who you be so this one is just my leopard scarf it's from Toby and I'm gonna link it down below if I can find it um, if not, I'll try and find something similar, but like this one, I haven't been able to find anything similar. It's so big, like you could have a picnic on it. That's how big it is. It's actually just like a recent love, but I just want more. Uh, this is from the Say What brand from Nordstrom Rack. I've never heard of this brand before, but it was only like 30 bucks and I couldn't not get it. So this is like a suede type of finish and it's a very light... It's just a really like camel color that's what I'm trying to say camel so camel camel um, and it's just really pretty it's got these long sleeves and it's a jacket but it doesn't zip up or anything it's just like a little jacket you throw over and it's got fringe which I love I seriously love this so much and it hangs a little bit lower in the front yeah like a little bit longer in the front and you know just normal in the back but that I've got to have for the fall season are boots now not just any kind of boots because like I like booties and stuff like that but these boots are like so comfortable I'm dying so these are the what are you called I don't know I'll try and find these as well the jacket the scarf I'll try to find everything as far as, as far as the clothing but everything else will just be listed and um, the clothing items will be linked so anyways here it is this is what it says now note I did not buy these my brother bought these for me for Christmas they are from Kohl's so you know they're not $120 they always have great deals I think these might have been like 75 bucks because I was gonna buy them and then I was like no I want nail polish instead here they are I believe they're faux leather if they're real leather I'm really sorry I love animals okay I would never kill an animal for a shoe like I didn't make this shoe so it's okay I love animals though um, so it has these little buckles here that I wish were gold because I'm obsessed with gold um, if you saw my room you would realize but like that's fine it's kind of like a gunmetal silver so that's like totally fine by me um, they're by the simply Vera Wang I wasn't sure if that said it when I showed you um, but anyways they need cleaned because there's like splashes from my boyfriend's like parents house um, of mud because it snows here and I don't like snow so we've got to have some good boots so anyways these go all the way up to the knee for me and I'm only five like five I think I'm five five and then they have this like you know three inch heel I would say and it's very nice and thick so they're easy to walk in and then it has like a half inch sole and then they're just so comfortable and they're just black and they're like perfect and like it's got a zipper here they're so easy to put on they're so comfortable to wear they're so fun to wear you can wear them with a dress um you can just wear them over jeans which is what i always did because i wear jeans year round i live in ohio so it gets kind of hot in the summertime we had it in the 90s here like a couple of times just i'm not really comfortable with my legs so i don't like to show them off i have a big scar on my leg from canada i cut myself like on a boat rail rack what is it trailer sure and I just don't like the way my legs look they're so I'm so white that you can see where my hair the the cuticle from where 
or the pore where my hair grows out of if there was hair there so I just don't like the way they look favorite fall movie so I guess my favorite fall movie would probably have to be <sighs> please don't hate me Jacqueline but it's not hocus pocus I Honestly, I don't have a favorite fall movie. Um, I guess I would say that I'm really excited to watch um, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, I know. A lot of people think it's a Christmas movie, and it is. I think it's actually intended for Christmas, but since, like, Jack Skellington and things like that are in it, I kind of watch it for Halloween time and, like... Christmas, I watch it for both seasons because it's all about capturing Sandy Claus and stuff, but like Boogie Woogie and Sally and like the crazy scientist guy and things that made Sally, you know. I like watching that movie. Um, I think it's a really fun and cute movie. I guess I would have to say though that I'm really looking forward to just sitting down and watching the sci-fi channel because when I was in the hospital about uh, two years ago or something, I, was, I went to a children's hospital. I'm only 19. Um, I don't know how old everybody thinks I am, but I'm only 19 and two years ago or so, maybe even three, I was, I went into the hospital. I have an autoimmune basically and they didn't know what was wrong with me so I was there for like ever once I figured it out I got to this really nice room with an awesome huge tv and like the lights lit up and crap like it was so exciting but I was at a children's hospital so every room the nurses went into they um you know were watching like the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and things like that and I think I was like 16 or 17 years old or something like that at the time and I was watching the sci-fi channel and I'm like watching uh, Michael Myers like Halloween and things like that and they like the nurses would come into my room and sit down and watch it with me because everybody else was watching like Mickey Mouse and just really little kid shows and I was the only one on the floor that would watch that was um like older than like six I think maybe eight I'm not really sure I think it was six though Our fall tv show however is a lot different um I already know American Horror Story Hotel Shut the front door. I love them all. I mean, I really like the first one. The Asylum was good, and then, like, Aliens started to come in to play, so I was done. Um, and then the third one was Coven, and it kind of bored me, so I didn't care for it, but it, it just bored me. Um, and then it was Freak Show. Freak Show is my ultimate favorite one. Um... And now I'm really looking forward to the hotel one. I'm really upset that Jessica Lang is not going to be in it because, like, I really felt like she made the shows for pretty much all of them. But, you know, I think she might be making an appearance from what my brother said. He's, like, super into movies and stuff, like 5,000 movies. He's crazy. Favorite Thanksgiving food has to be pumpkin pie for me. I absolutely love pumpkin pie, but I love pumpkin pie because I take the Cool Whip, and you know how people just put like one dollop on top of their pie, and they're like, okay, thanks. I'm like, don't you want a bite of Cool Whip with every bite? So I literally put like twice as much of the dollop on and then iced it with my fork. Favorite Halloween costume, I would probably have to say back in kindergarten when I dressed up as the, um, as Blossom from the Powderpuff Girls. That year, I specifically remember wanting to be Josie from Josie and the Pussycat Dolls. Um, thumbs up if you remember that show. I was Blossom from the Powderpuff Girls. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. I want to tag everybody watching this video, um, but I also am going to list a few people down there, um, down below to film it. Uh, let me know down in the comments what your guys' favorite things for fall are. You can just take a couple of the questions and answer them if you want to take that time out of your day. If not, thank you so much for watching. Um, please, please, please thumbs up this video if you had any flashbacks or you just enjoyed me sitting here and talking for 33 minutes. That's cool too. Um, but I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to go check out Jacqueline's video and the clothing items, everything I talked about will be listed down below. The clothing items are linked if I could find them. And yeah, see you guys in my next video. Bye.